subs. Follow me on Snapchat. Hey everyone, my name's Kristen Leanne. Welcome to my channel. I thought I'd bring you guys another 101 video because you guys seem to love the eyebrow 101. This one is all about fake eyelashes. And you probably clicked this video because maybe you struggle with um, wearing fake eyelashes, they bug you, they annoy you, or you're unsure of how to put them on in a way that is flattering, easy, quick. Putting on fake eyelashes does not need to be scary. If you guys have any more ideas or you're struggling with anything else um, in the makeup category, hair, whatever, let me know in the comments below and maybe your idea will be the next 101 video. And one other thing, just breathe, just breathe. Makeup is, you can erase it, you can pull it off, you can take it off. Don't worry about any mistakes. You can, through this video, filming this video, I literally pulled off one of my eyelashes once to reapply it because it looked like shit. So don't worry about it. Mistakes are gonna happen. Practice makes perfect. Actually, practice doesn't make perfect with this. Pra practice makes better. You're never gonna be perfect at anything when it comes to makeup, but you can definitely know your shit and get better at it. So let's uh, let's get started. Don't put your lashes on until your eye look is complete. A few reasons here. One, when you have big eyelashes on, it's very hard to get in there and get your eyeshadow there. Two, fallout will fall onto your lashes and discolor them and make them look odd. Three, you want to pick the right lashes for your look, the most flattering lashes for your look. Like for instance, you don't want to do a super light look. Well, maybe you do, but I personally don't like to do a super light look and then have really big tarantula lashes. I like them to match. Don't pull off your lashes like that off the thing. It can ruin them and just kind of like make some of the lashes go up and some down and just make them a little funky. So what you're going to want to do is take your thumb and lightly grab them or your finger and lightly pull them off of this little thing here. Do measure your lashes before attaching glue and putting them on your eye. Don't put your eyelashes on without measuring them. This can cause a lot of problems, eye irritation, it won't sit on your eye properly, the ends will start popping up and off. Do make sure you curl your lashes before applying any lashes. Some people's lashes naturally grow at a more downward slant. So curling these will just ensure that your lashes and your fake eyelashes will go together properly and some steps that I will talk to you about in the end, but I have actually seen people where their lashes are like this and then their fake eyelashes are like this and you can kind of see both. And it, um, it's, not, it's not a great look and it's really easy to curl correct, so just make sure you curl your lashes. Do coat your lashes with one very fine layer of mascara and make sure you get these lashes right in here. If you're like me, I kind of cut my lashes and apply them like more so over here because my eye gets irritated quite easily. So you can kind of make that blend in a lot easier if you get these lashes over here coated with mascara. Do not do not put too much mascara on your lashes. This will create a clumpy mess and it will be very, very hard to blend in with your false eyelashes later. Do use good glue, okay? Some glue that comes with lashes I've tried before and it does not work very well. Make sure you use a good lash glue that is going to work well for the eye look that you have going on. I currently use Duo. I have a white one that dries clear, which I use for a more natural look like this. And I use a dark tone one when I have created a black liner or cat eye. I did find something out about Duo lashes, which is kind of crazy. It's what I was talking about on Snapchat. If you follow me there, you probably heard me talking about this. Um, and I was kind of amazed actually. So I'm no longer going to be using Duo. Uh, you can if you'd like, but I did find, it is latex free, cruelty free, and I wasn't sure if it was vegan, but um, I found out that there's formaldehyde in those duos that I showed you. So I won't be using those anymore. I did find a fantastic alternative. Well, I actually can't say if it's fantastic or not. I have not tried it yet, but I will be trying it. It's called True Glue. It's environmentally safe. It's um, got no harsh, crazy chemicals in it. It's all natural. It's vegan. It's cruelty free. So I just purchased one of those and the price is pretty much the same as Duo. So definitely check that out if that's something that you're interested in. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Do apply the glue to your lashes with either a spatula the back of your tweezers or the center part of a q-tip. You're gonna apply this in a thin even layer. Do wait around 40 seconds blowing on the strip of lashes to make sure they are tacky. Not too dry where they won't stick, but tacky. Especially with those big, thick banded lashes, those really need to be tacky in order to stick down because they're so heavy and large. 
Do find where your lash hair and your eyelid meet together. That's where you're gonna wanna apply your lash. What I like to do is I'll hold it over that area and I'll see how far I want it to go here. And when it's the right distance right in here, I will set that and press it down in the center of my eyelid first. And then after that, fasten either side of the lash and everything in between. Also, do not, do not use the end of a Q-tip to apply your glue. I've seen a lot of makeup artists do this at various shoots and things like that. And what happens is those little fibers from the Q-tip will actually stick on there and can later get into your eye. Do not apply too much glue to your lashes. It will get clumpy and gross. It'll get on the lashes, it'll get on your lashes, it'll get on your makeup. It is a bad move, don't do it. Do not apply your lash to your eye directly after applying the glue. Do not apply it with your fingers and do not apply it too much above your actual lash line. Do remove the lash and start over if you need to. I had to do that throughout this video. I pulled this guy off and reapplied it because I screwed it up. Do go back and reinforce all the little areas that you placed it down with your tweezers or your finger. Do not put another coat of mascara on your eyelash until it is completely dry. This can pull it off, pull up the edges. It's, it's not pretty. Do apply a very thin coat, once again, of mascara to kind of mesh your eyelash and the fake eyelash together. Do bring a bobby pin, your eyelash glue, and some tweezers out with you in a little bag in your purse, just in case there are any accidents. You can use the bobby pin to kind of hold, hold the lash up and then apply a little bit of the glue in there and, and then stick it back on. You don't wanna be that girl that's out in public with one of the corners of their eyelashes coming off and they just have no idea. Don't be that person. That concludes False Eyelashes 101. Hopefully you are finishing this video knowing a little more and feeling a little more confident in putting lashes on yourself at home. Practice makes better. We're not gonna say practice makes perfect anymore because it's not true. Leave your 101 ideas in the comments below and maybe your idea will be my next 101 video. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.